Hello everyone, it's Geisha. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make this paper bag journal from start to finish. So it's a uh, craft with me video. And some of you might know that I usually don't do pink. And I decided that it act this actually looks pretty neat. There's some few things in here that are odd and uh, as this fabric is from a dress from my mom and this little gauze in here is from a color catcher along the video I call this a thread catcher no it's a color catcher that you do in a wash and your color will transfer to it if one of your fabrics um, say new jeans the blue will go to the catcher instead of other clothing that is in your laundry what else is in here? Just a cutout, done with a punch. And this here is a uh, paint chip. So yeah, I have to write something here yet that I haven't done yet. I will do that at some point. And I still need to glue this together. All right, let's get at it. See you in a bit. I glued the first layer on and I've changed my thread to a variegated thread with pink and a hint of green in it that I will have, that I will sew with. Here we go. If I can do that in one shot. If I place this here, look at my picture. Putting over is allowed. And oh, you gotta go straight, hey? Okay, this is not good because I can see that I am getting too close to the. line. Well, ha ha, there she is with her answer. It happens a lot that I start talking about something and then I just stop answering myself or finishing the sentence. All right, let's do this again. I think that the cheesecloth will be a hindrance then I will go ahead and stitch it some more and this here we'll have this on it first like so and then this on top of these two, like so, sort of, kind of, I don't think, yeah, I think I have a little piece of yarn that I will put on the bottom, okay, so that will be added later, if I start here, I go around, go around, and then end up over there, yep, good idea. 
I always try to plot my path. Now, this little fuzzy that I'm working on right now is actually a thread catcher. People will use this in their laundry to catch loose dye particles that might come off of clothing or fabric. And instead of the loose fabric particles or the loose dye particles transferring to other clothing, it will actually be caught by these color catches. I'm pretty sure I said a different name before, but it's a color catcher. And a friend of mine uses them and she saves them for me so that I can use them in my art projects. Very good. I found out that if you don't lift up the presser foot while going through a corner, it's gonna really... Those stitches are gonna be really pulling on everything. Okay, I mixed up my little bits and pieces here. Now, this is the one that goes over here. Just, oh, I could have put this down a little bit. Oh, this one is not secured yet. That's okay. Hey, I didn't even stitch this one down. Oh, probably doesn't even need it. Maybe I won't even do it. Okay, so if I start stitching over here. And I like it even better if the stitching is inside the piece instead of on top of the edge over here. Gives it just a little bit more I don't know, texture. Doesn't always work, but for the most part. And this one, shouldn't stick this out too much. You know what, I'm just gonna do that. doing a straight stitch straight into the center of the leaf and back in again. And I'll do that the same for this one and this one here. And zigzag the last little bit. This is how far I have gotten. And I'll be concentrating on this one for now. This goes on the pocket. I'll check later how it goes. <coughs> Oops, sorry. This one is over here. This goes over here and then this one over here. And then this one will make this part secure. So I'm not gonna stitch that. This is the back. Okay. All right. One at a time. 
I will stitch the flower straight stitch from the center out and then a little petal shape if I can see where I'm going that is get this Now this, haha, this is a piece of fabric that comes from a dress that my mother wore. And over the years I have gotten all her cotton dresses and used them wherever I could. And here I am cutting out the castle-like images from the dress. I'm sure it had more uh, images on it, but these are the ones I'm going to use. this to go here so I am going to do a st stitch around this center part only and that will hold everything else in place okay just about here I don't know if you can see this but I've painted on it with metallic markers and paint markers now this one doesn't work yeah it, it works but it doesn't do the metallic thing this one does and I bought six and then what do you know three of them don't work and three don't uh, three do and it says here metallic it's not gonna do it so it gives some additive, added it, it gives some added texture to the flower. I'll sew in the corner and I will do the same thing. If you're wondering, I am sewing on a fuff. Sewing. I am back because my camera ran out of room. And I. Changed 
checked my videos and apparently my introduction video was not taped. So I have to figure out what to do with that. And uh, I'll see how I'm gonna fix that later. Just continue sewing on here, having my camera close by, my uh, picture of what goes where. Um, okay, this is a pocket. I'm gonna wait with these guys. Okay, I could sew this on here, yeah. Nice little piece of lace. Okay, how about we'll do this on here, and this will go on top, piece of lace, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is a piece of uh, thread catcher, this is a piece of um, cotton that I glued down on a surface. And it's tape glued together. You start in the middle and wind it as big as you want. I have different sizes. Um, do I really need this gauze over here? Oh well. Okay, we'll just start sewing with this one. first. Shall I show this? Put this on here. What if I put it in a corner? That'd be cool. No, stitch in the middle.
probably have to back this up so that <coughs> excuse me that when something comes in it doesn't stay it doesn't get caught behind this maybe I should stitch this for a bit Piece of wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> 